On June 20, 2023, a prominent YouTuber, some ordinary gamer, or real named Murahar, called out a Christian pastor YouTuber named Apollo Kriboloi, where he regularly preaches in his videos to his 47,000 subscriber channel. Murahar called out Kriboloi for his crimes in the past and asked YouTube for the termination of his channel, considering that he may be a danger on the site. YouTube then agreed and deleted the channel of the pastor. Kriboloi is a manipulative fraud, racist, a human trafficker, and pedophile. Would you want a person like that to be on a website mostly consumed of young impressionable children? Now to understand why he is such a disgusting man, we need to understand what did he do. Apollo Kurion Kruboy was born in 1950 in the city of Davao. His family was a part of the United Pentecostal Church, so he was too a member of that church before making his own church the Kingdom of Jesus Christ. After his couple with the church youth organization due to his arrogant behavior towards other pastors. He claims to be the son of God or the creator of the universe. Just definitely not deranged beliefs. With his church, he established an academy, 17 radio stations, and even a sports management group. Kriboloi claims he has divine powers like stopping an earthquake from 2019 or saying that he purposefully didn't stop a typhoon because of criticism of his claim of stopping an earthquake. He's also quite active in politics with endorsing two out of the three winning presidents of the nation. However, this is where his controversies started to appear. In 2004, a daughter of a mother was quoted brainwashed and taken out of her will to purposefully join the kingdom of Jesus Christ and sued the cult to release her daughter. It isn't far-fetched to call them a cult if I'm gonna be honest. He was accused by a communist guerrilla army for the massacre of their leader back in 2008 for being refused to buy land from the communist leader. Kriboloi was in a feud with a celebrity of ABS-CBN, the biggest television program of the Philippines, by mocking his claim of Kriboloi stopping the earthquake. The celebrity then bets Kriboloi to stop the longest-running television program in ABS-CBN, The Provincial Man. Alam mo kung sino lang ang pinakamatinding magiging kalaban ni, ni, ni Ricardo? Sino? Nako, kabahan ka kay Ka, si Cardo, ang pinakakalaban ni Cardo. Sino? Si, feeling ko si, si, si Kiboloi. <laughs> yung nagpainto ng lindol si Kiboloy lang ang magpapahinto ng probinsyano abangan nyo yan <laughs> oh. <laughs> so ano inahamon kita Kiboloy pahinto mo nga ang probinsyano <laughs> napahinto mo pala ang ano eh lindol eh apakayabang nyo pala eh <laughs> Kriboloy then said that in four months, the entire ABS-CBN program would be taken down. Wala naman kong pakialam doon sa probinsyano. Hindi ako magsasalita. But the challenge is accepted. Hindi lang ako nakarinig noon. Kundi ang Diyos nakarinig noon. Hihintayin ko na lang kung ano ang kalalabasan ng challenge mo. Kailan mo ba gusto mo pa-stop ang probinsyano? No. Ikaw, pwede ka. Kailan mo gusto mo i-stop? Isang buwan, dalawang buwan, tatlong buwan, apat na buwan? Ikaw, pwede ka. Baka sa apat na buwan, hindi lang yung probinsyano may stop. Baka pati yung network mo, stop na yan. Five months later, the government ordered ABS-CBN to cease its television and radio broadcasting operations after the 25-year broadcast franchise expired. Five more months later, the Senate bid to reject the new ABS-CBN franchise bid, prompting the company to move to the internet. Two years later, the provincial man ended. Would you call the downfall of abs cbn and Kriboloi's rat coincidental? Maybe even some sense of bribery? Who knows? On November 11, 2021, Kriboloi and his other followers were indicted by the U.S. Department of Justice for sex trafficking. The indictment charged him with alleged coercing girls and young women to have sex with him, as well as running a sex trafficking operation that threatened victims. Among the claimed victims are children as young as 12. According to the indictment, Kriboloi allegedly threatened with eternal damnation and physical abuse to the fraudulent California charity Children's Joy. According to the U.S. Department of Justice allegations, underage girls were forced into so-called night duties where they were sexually abused by the pastor, alleging that he used church donations to pay for his lavish lifestyle. On February 5, 2022, the FBI released a wanted poster for Kriboloi. 
and on December 10, 2022, the U.S. Department of Treasury and Department of State imposed sanctions on Kriboloy, gross human rights abuses and corruption. Kriboloy is accused of being involved in the sexual abuse and human trafficking of young girls within his religious group. I am glad that YouTube made the right move. Even when they did this kind of late, it's still the best decision they could have made. Just imagine a cult leader who has raped and trafficked little kids and being on a website used by kids. It's just a disgusting thought. Manipulating people into joining his cult and exploiting his followers to fund his lavish lifestyle. A true scum. The devil in disguise playing the angel. The fact that this man still has connection to the internet and, and can contact other people to potentially do heinous stuff to them is insane. Sanctions aren't enough to punish this man, but unfortunately, he is a powerful man. He has connections to other powerful and corrupt people. It is hard to imprison wealthy men in the Philippines, so unfortunately, this useless sack of shit is roaming free. Just please be safe out there of joining random groups like religious or other kind of groups. You just may never know their true intentions behind their smiles.